Good morning, everybody. We are going to learn bones. Aren't y'all just so excited? <laughs> Can't believe it's Monday already. Where did the weekend go? Ugh. Went fast. Hey there, Amy. Are you coming to the South School this week, Amy, or are you going to do distance learning all week? We got our Sydney and our Emily and our Monica and Bailey and Chloe and Olivia and Amy and Mallory and Kiera. Woo-hoo! I hate getting this close. Okay, next week. Perfect. So this week you're going to get your anatomy done. Good. I hate looking this close because you see all that. I need, that I need a highlight, guys. Oh, Randy keeps saying, well, get your highlights done. I said, well, I'll get it done eventually. I'm so excited because I got one of my reports done. I got to send it in about seven o'clock on Friday night at uh, the, the North School. So I'm like feeling a little relief. And then I'm going to work on um, in between teaching y'all today. I'm going to be with y'all um, all three sessions today. I'll allow everybody to get a little time, a little warm-up time, because I'm early. I'm always just a little early. I have uh, haven't quite finished all of my coffee yet. Do I have coffee drinkers out there? Some people are coffee drinkers, some people aren't. Lately, yes. Oh, my hair, thank you, but it looks really bad. I mean, look, look at all this regrowth. I mean, look. Uh, it's blending fine because I don't overdo my highlights and I don't allow people to feather through so that I don't get overly bleached. So I just allow people to just like touch up. So if you can see, I just allow people just like touch up right here and not feather through to create more blonde a diet ooh well you know Emily I will tell you um, and my daughter Lauren will tell you it um, uh, sleeping actually is uh, good for weight loss you actually lose weight when you're actually sleeping you actually control your you control your pounds Well, once our body gets used to eating, it's a habit. So I think everyone's been battling that a little bit. We are up to 12 people. I'm going to step away for one second and look for something on this shelf over here.
No, I didn't find what I was looking for. Hmm. Oh well, I'll look for it a little bit. I did find an iPhone charger sitting over there. You know how those get lost and people start uh, wham wham about where's my phone charger? You took my phone charger. Oh, such a pain in the booty around here. Everybody's taking everybody's chargers and then misplacing them and nobody fesses up to it. So you like your coffee too. You have this cup right here. <laughs> I don't know where we got this one. Lauren got it and it, um, she does not use it because she doesn't drink coffee. But um, I, this is the cup I love because I love the roundness. I don't want the square. There's something about the roundness that I get to fill the palm of my hand with. And I love the size of it. So... <laughs> that's funny. I wonder where it came from. But mine doesn't have a W. I guess if anyone sees this cup that has a W, that'd be nice. But it's got an L for Lauren, so. <laughs> yeah, it just it's it's comfortable size in my hand. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's not square. Do y'all drink your, um, oh, Hobby Lobby. Oh. Okay. I love Hobby Lobby. So how many of, um, of y'all uh, like black coffee like I do? So many people have to doctor it up with all kinds of stuff. And I don't. I just like it black. I don't, I don't like it too strong. I'll drink an espresso with a dessert, um, like some deep, dark chocolate decadence type of cake uh, on a celebration. But I really like... Um, black coffee. I think it's whatever your grandparents drink. I think if your grandparents drink, oh, the bean. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Are y'all sleepy? I'm sleepy. Yesterday I had to, um, get rid of a lot of dying, uh, potted plants on my patio from last year. And I've been lazy about getting it done because I've been working so much. So, um, we went to Home Depot and we bought some gorgeous uh, plants and we had to pull out the old plants. Well, if you ever have had a plant stuffed in a pot for too long, the, the yucky uh, roots and vines get so tough in there that it was just like insane trying to get those ball roots out of there. But I have this thing. It's got four prongies on, on the side. It's got a handle. It's called a claw. And you just keep turning that dirt and turning that dirt. And we finally got it out. But the trash can out the drive at the, at the, at the end of the drive today is trash day. It's just full of all that hairy, rooted, old, yucky. But, man, it was a booger bear yesterday. Oh, you're going to put me on my TV for the whole house to see. Looking looking so fine. Looking so fine right now. So I'm going to be with y'all um, all three sessions. And I'm a little distracted from um, some additional um, paperwork I got to get done. I was telling the morning group who just, uh, that first um, signed in with me, I got one of my major reports done. It feels so good. But I got to get the other uh, one done too, so... I may be making this a little easy on y'all today just because um, it's taking everything I can do to you know, keep my eyes um, um, open and alive and well right now. So we got 15 of us, and let me see what time it is. I can't find my – oh, we're at 9.04. So 15 of us, a couple of people are dropping off. They've, got, they've maximized those hours, and they're heading into the building. Uh, Kayla Lankford, I know, is one of them. Um, yes, that's what I was going to tell you. If you do have a printer, you may print those, uh, out, um, and not draw them. If you don't know this little secret, you can get like your, your screen, like your computer screen or your iPad screen or something, and then you can put it up next to the light and get a blank piece of paper, put it up against the screen and get a pencil and you can draw it. It makes it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, to do 
and then some of you of course are just great artists so just do the best you can we know that you're you know oh honey roasted beans are the that's good victoria okay so what i plan to do is just give you all a few notes uh very few uh notes for you to take down on your paper add it to your notebook and uh of your notes and then we are going to uh i'm gonna have y'all open up your email stay on live with me until uh let's see what time is it yet? i gotta find my clock until 10 o'clock and then sign out so for right now what i'd like for you to do is just be familiar with some of uh you know, we're going to go through the body systems. We're going to go through the bones of the arm, the leg, what an abductor, adductor is, you know, when you spread your, when you can spread your fingers apart, where the different, what these different muscles are and um, bones of the head, uh, every, you know, bones of pretty much everything from here up and then from the knees down, although we do go into the femur bone. So, we're going to go over that and uh, body systems like the endocrine system and what it does so that when you take that written exam and you've got maybe, I don't know, 10 questions on anatomy and we don't know which ones they're going to give you, but um, you'll be able to uh, take that exam. So just pull out a piece of paper, um, pen, and, um, uh, and take these notes because what I will be going over with you, especially the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about the first eight things I'm going to write down, um, more than likely that's going to be a, uh, some of those various questions. They're easy. No big, no biggie. And then I'm going to allow you to just kind of, uh, switch off of YouTube and back to your email and you can look at those. I went ahead and sent you all three assignments today at one time because I'm going to be working, um, in between and, uh, Jeremy and Katie are working at the North school and some stuff for me. And uh, I wanted to give Kimberly a break. She's been on that floor. Um, so I wanted to do the lives. And Sherry's kind of a fill-in. And Molly's working today at Justice. Uh, she's helping them out. So uh, y'all y'all got me for a little bit. We're going to make today kind of simple and sweet, if y'all don't mind, because I'm going to be attentive to a little uh, some, some more things I've got to get done. I'll be teaching haircutting to those of, uh, at the North Campus. So it's going to be a Fast and Furious four days um, starting tomorrow for me. But um, um, it's been a while since when I started distance education, I had two of these boards up here. So it's been a little while since I um, have uh, used the board. And it's, a, it's not tied to my wall. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to raise the screen and y'all are just going to take down these few notes. And if you can't see it, let me know. Um, all right. Here we go. The number of bones that make up the human body. So you can just write down bones in the human body. And whenever you, uh, whenever we do end and I have y'all come back to do the, um, the sign out, I'm not used to doing roll call. It's not something I do. So please sign out for me because I don't want to miss anybody's name. I will go through this thread and make sure that I can um, see everyone, but I don't want to miss anybody because it's not something I typically do. So I, I will check and double check. It's just, I, I have 15 people and I don't have to have anyone online as long as I have 25 ratios, 25 to one. So as long as I have me doing it and there's no more than 25 students and I'm okay. So how many bones are in the in the human body? This will be, I'm sure this will be a question on everyone's test, and it's 206 bones. Now it's probably been a long time since some of you have seen uh, bones in the body. Uh, on uh, probably learned that probably in fifth grade, something like that, fifth grade to eighth grade. But it's been a long time, and we are not always focusing on how many uh, bones are in the body. Okay, uh, let me get my glasses on here. Uh, what we want, what you want to know, is the physical, the skeletal. Another thing that you'll see on the state board is skeletal is the physical foundation. I hopefully y'all can see my board. Physical foundation of the body. Physical foundation 
of the body. I wonder if I should move my screen a little closer. Yeah, Emily, you're close. The physical foundation of the body is uh, the skeletal system. So skeletal and then the bones of the body. This prefix os, O-S, os simply means bone. So os means bone. Pretty easy. Osteology. Let's see if it Osteology. O S T E O L O G Y. So this is the study of the bones and its structures. I think you can safely just say study of the bones. It's amazing what hairstylists, estheticians, and nail te technicians have to learn. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Let's see if I can slide this a little closer for y'all. Maybe that's a little better. Okay. You can write down the word ligament. And ligaments are short bands of connective tissue. Short bands of connective tissue. Then we have joints. And the human body and the layers of the skin. It's just a lot. Very true, Mallory. I got a 42 for the year with algebra with one teacher. Um, her husband was a um, major drummer for one of those 80s bands. I'm trying to think of the name of it. And then I had to retake it in high school, and I got a 95 with a different teacher. I think as long as you know the key points that you need for what we are doing, we're good, you know? Okay, so for joints... This is the area where two big, where two bone, where I'm, I'm not going to say two bones connect for movement. Bones connect for movement, or allows for movement, I should say. Told y'all it wasn't on there. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. At least it's light. Sorry about that. I bet that scared y'all if you had your volume up. I'm going to have to. We didn't think we'd need this very long, but our platform is going to be, I told y'all we're going to be going to Zoom pretty soon, so it's going to be completely different. Okay. The cranium. Make 
sure I hold it this time. I bet that scared y'all. Luckily, I didn't have any kids or animals that heard that fall. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it went. Whoop. Okay. On the cranium, this is our oval bony case that has eight bones that protect the uh, that protect the brain. So it's an oval bony case that protects the brain. I'm trying to write off to the side so my handwriting may not be very good. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Oval, bro oval bony case that protects the brain. And the cranium has eight a total of eight bones. So what are some benefits? Hopefully that won't fall. What are some benefits of the skeletal system? Well, number one, I always forget how to spell benefits. Benefits of the skeletal system. I probably got it spelled wrong. Some benefits of the skeletal system. It's gonna give shape and support, so shape and support to the body. Of course, it's gonna give uh, support and shape because without it, we wouldn't have support. You know, we couldn't walk or whatever, so that just makes common sense. So shape and support. Can you think of some other things that would be the benefits of the skeletal system? Where would the where would the muscles attach? What would, the, what would they attach to? Well, nothing. So to attach muscles, attaches muscles rather. That's a three. Sorry for that. If you can't read that, my handwriting is bad this morning. And two more things that stores calcium. So it stores calcium. And then our last thing is it produces red and white blood cells. That's some pretty good stuff. Benefits of skeleton. With shape and support, it, it's a, it allows for attachment of muscles for movement, and then it stores calcium, produces red and white blood cells. So those bone marrow transplants and stuff, that's why, um, that's why the, that is so needed. So again, we said that there, I'm just going to rewrite this. We said bones in the body. So bones, and if you wanted to rewrite this, you could, but we said 206, right? Well, then we have bones of the face. That's a six. Let's see if any of you have a question. Okay. Bones of the face, and then we have bones of the head. This could arise as a question for you. You got a lot of memorization to do on this written exam 
with PSI, okay? So bones of the body is 206. Anyone wanna take a jab at what the bones of the face are and the head? So bones of the face, I don't see anybody chatting yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to y'all. Bones of the face are 14, and bones of the head are 22. Estheticians, you're probably gonna have that question right there on bones of the face. All of you are gonna have that bones of the body, the 206, so make sure you jot that down. I'm throwing out the number 30. The head, uh, the bones, the bone of the of the head is going to be the occipital bone. That's one of the twenty-two. And for those of you who don't know what the occipital bone is, if this, let me see if y'all can see the camera. If this is the um, face right here, as this part of the head curves, that occipital bone is in that region right there. Probably you even spelled that right. So bones are the body, okay? So now we're gonna list the ones of the bones of the, of the face here in just a second. I'll give you all a second. I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. When you think of all the theory lectures that we've gone over, it's so much. In each chapter, it's easy, but it's just a lot. It's a lot to memorize and a lot to um, be, you know, to be attentive to. Okay, so the fourteen bones of the, of the face. It's a glare on there. That's the number fourteen. If you're seeing a glare on your on your computer. Okay, the first one, you have two lacrimal. Okay, L-A-C-R-I-M-A-L. -L. And this is beside the eye socket. And that's why you have two, because one on each side of the eye. So that's two of the 14 that we have already, okay? L-A-C-R-I-M-A-L, beside the eye socket. Then we have two nasal bones and that's the sides of the bridge of the nose and that's why you have two because each side of the nose right here on the outside of the nose right here that's those bones right there So sometimes when our estheticians are do doing this motion, you're sliding up and down alongside the bridge of the nose, adding that nice massage right there and cleansing technique right there. And then sometimes you'll see this right here written nasalis. It'll have like an IS on the end, so nasal, nasalis. Either one is going to be appropriate for the answer should you see that question. <coughs> Okay, then we have two zygomatic. And as we get into the muscles of the face, uh, you'll see zygomaticus. And it'll be easy because you've learned that the zygomatic is the bone. Zygomaticus um, will be the muscle. And the zygomatic is our cheekbone. Zygomatic cheekbone. Is 
that's six already. Um, and, and you have to remember, when we're doing this, this is just the face. This is not the head back here. So this is the face. So we have the, you know, we have the lacrimal here, the nasalis, the zygomaticus. Now the next one is divided in two. Above our lip, there is a division in these two bones. It's not one solid bone above our upper lip, okay? Let me put on my glasses. So the upper, the upper lip is the maxillary. That's the upper jaw. So um, I'll be giving y'all some different um, images for y'all to look at. So and there are two of those. We're gonna put upper jaw. And then the next one you do need to remember, it's the strongest bone of the face. And uh, you, I know all of you heard it at some point. That is our mandible. So there's one mandible. And the mandible is the lower jaw, strongest bone of the face. So be sure you put that down. Strongest bone of the face, mandible. So now we have nine of the 14 bones. So our next one, uh, let me see which one I want to give you. Um, my little hen scratch right here. Um, we're going to do one Vomer, V-O-M-E-R. Somehow on your paper, I want you to try to articulate um, uh, that Vomer bone. So if you're looking at the camera, this but right underneath the tip of my nose that skin that comes up here running through the center of your nose under your skin is a thin narrow little bone right in there and that is called the vomer let me see i want to check something out Stomach's growling. Sorry. Okay. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got ten. And then we have two, um, I'll do the palatines. Two palatine. Did y'all write on your paper something to do with the with the bone or bone? It's this it's the slender bone that goes upward inside your nose that divides the bridge of the nose. You could put something like that. So the palatine, think of the word palatine and think about when you go to a restaurant, sometimes these fancy restaurants, you'll have a dinner and what they'll do is they'll offer you something to uh, cleanse your palate. So the up above your roof of your mouth, uh, you have two plates like that and that's the palatine. So upper, um, I don't have it written on my paper. Uh, let's put upper hard plate of the mouth. Upper hard plate of the mouth. So I'm sure if you were in dentistry, that would probably be a major, you know, when you get your teeth cleaned, you know, the part of the reasons why we get our teeth cleaned is for us to, for uh, professionals in dental is to be able to check your entire mouth for any abnormalities or any growths or stuff like that too. So it's important that that you do have a, an entire mouth check. You know, so many people, I have several friends who've never, um, uh, they have parents who've never smoked 
and had no reason or dipped or anything like that and really had no reason to have any growths in their mouth but I have I do know these people have suffered with tongue cancer and um, different cancers inside their mouth it's just something we take for granted and we just don't really so getting to the dentist to pay your I don't know about eighty dollars, a hundred dollars for your teeth cleaning is not just about the teeth; it's about the entire um, your entire mouth. So we do not need to have that checked because we don't look in our mouths to see. And there's people who've um, never smoked or anything, and they've um, suffered with having, you know, tongue cancer and mouth cancer, and uh, it was just a fluke that they that they you know have it and have to deal with it. So getting those skin checks that we talk about and getting that dental care checks are so important. Friday, I have to have a, I have a, um, a pretty large space from, I don't know, just growth of the way your mouth adjusts as you get older, a little separation, two of my teeth. I mean, one of my, uh, between two teeth and I don't always floss in between there, but it's neat and then different things get stuck in there and I always have to floss that and need a toothpick. And so I guess I haven't been caring for it the way I have. So I've got cavities wrapped around that tooth. And um, if they had not seen it, because I can't feel it, it doesn't hurt, it's not sensitive, but had I not had a examination, it would result in like a root canal losing that tooth, which root canals I think are in somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500. Then you have to get a uh, a crown and that's another $1,800. So, you know, the hundred, the $80, $120 that you spend on, um, especially, you know, we don't, uh, uh, in our industry, we don't always have a dental care, dental care plans. And if we're not in a household where somebody has that kind of insurance, which not many people have. So it's just a, it's just a fee that you're going to have to pay and it just, you know, you got to get it done. So if you haven't had your checkups, whether it's, you know, I don't know that we have any men online, but you know, your mammograms and your, and your, just your self-care, your body care and checking uh, your body for irregularities on your skin, your mouth, everything is so very, very important to have those health care checks um, just for preventative, not just financial, but health and overall well-being. Okay, then our next, our last one is two turbinals. Sometimes they're called turbinates. Two terminals. Or tur turbinate. Either one is fine. Yep, that's right, Emily. Vigilant, vigilant. It's not. If y'all hear my stomach, it's growling. I'm used to eating. Right. Eight. I was doing some things around the house here and so I'm going to attempt to hold up a picture so you can see where these turbinates are um, after you write that down yes girl and they say these uh, root canals are like there even, there's even research that they're not the, really the best approach. So yeah, just getting just getting the darn tooth pulled is better. But me personally, if I don't do my pre preventative care, oh, y'all, I cannot handle the scariness of having procedures done. I'm just a big baby, big wimp, and I just get so scared. So I've got to get this done. I, when they found it, it was right before COVID, and they couldn't take care of me. Did it hurt, Monica? My dentist said, yeah, you're one of these people that we don't want to have to go through that because your anxiety is so high. One time when I just went in for a little um, cavity filling before, he stopped and put the pressure cuff on me and he said, I'm about, I'm about to have to call the ambulance because your blood pressure is so high. It makes me so anxious to go to the dentist or to do any of those things. So not too bad. Um, they told me another one of their clients were like me, and she actually hired an anesthesiologist to put her out and have the root canal done. It was like $900 for the anesthesiologist to come to the dental office because to do the root canal because she's just like me. So, 
Oh, it's like a deep feeling. Mm. Wow. So I'm going to hold up this picture of this turbinate and see if you can kind of, let me see if I can roll this right here. And I'm going to hold up this picture so y'all can see it. Do you see that number two right there? And you see those little, it almost looks like little sacs inside the nose. So we have two little facial bones right in there, and those are called um, turbinates and turbinate. So right in there is where they are. I'm a big baby. You don't even know. One of these days I can tell you about me having two children. <laughs> how horrible, that, how hard that was for me. and What a pain in the butt I was for the doctors. Okay, so let's just kind of review that again. Our 14 bones of the face, we have the two lacrimals. And we're going to try to remember, where are these lacrimals? They are the eye sockets, okay, inside the eye sockets. The nasal bone right here, long hair, the zygomatic, the maxillary, the mandible, the strongest bone, the vomer, which runs up and down between the nose, uh, down the, uh, the center of the nose, the palatine, which just think again of the hard palate at the top of your mouth. Some people get an expander on that when you're young and they expand that palate and so that you have more room um, and your jaw and your mouth is not so narrow. And then the two terminals. Oh, Emily, you don't even know. Before, do you know, Emily, I know I'm off top topic and I happen to do that sometimes, especially if you're on campus with me. But anyway, um, I went to watch it. My friend had a baby before I was going to have a baby. And it was so easy for her. It was like, oh my gosh, I can do this. This is nothing. And I went and did it, and mine was, uh, hers was like 30 minutes, and mine was 32 hours. So, anyway, that didn't really, that wasn't it, that wasn't the overall plan. But after I saw her, I was like, why didn't I do this long ago? Why did I wait so long? Anyway, it's behind me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, let me just review this again with you. We have 206 bones of the body. The skeleton is our physical foundation of the body. Os means, <laughs> I know, I shouldn't have Monica. Oh, but it was, hers was so good. She had three kids and boom, boom, boom. No problem. Os means, uh, that's the uh, prefix for the word um, osteology. It means bone. We have osteology, which is the study of the bone and their structures. We have ligament, and these are those short uh, tough bands of connective tissue. We have the joint, and that's where the bones meet together to allow those bones to move, elbow, knee. Uh, cranium, this is an oval bony case that protects the eight bones of the brain, um, of the head, of the cranium, but it protects the brain. You were, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and if you heard the story, uh, you don't even want to know the rest of the problem. Being a big baby really made the whole hospital's experience horrible. That's another story. Um, so the, uh, the, skele the skeletal system, some of the benefits of it, it's going to protect um, our um, shape, give us support, attaches to the, uh, to the muscles, produces red and white blood cells, and stores calcium. We have 14 bones of the face. We have 22 bones of the head. And then again, we have the bones of the face, lacrimal, nasal, zygomatic, maxillary, mandible, bomer, palatine, and turbinals. So I'm going to have all of you uh, look at your email now. You can start uh, writing some of that. Um, I'm going to start writing down names right now of people who are online with me so that I get your attendance done. I got my little pen and paper so I don't forget anyone. And um, 
I want y'all to look at your email and uh, you're just gonna be doing some drawing, just do the best you can and then come back and let's see, come back around uh, 12, oh, not 12, what am I saying? Uh, 10, come back at 10 and do a final roll call. So I'm gonna scroll up right now and just start jotting down people. And y'all get this, uh, uh, y'all can start jotting down your drawings and see your artistry. See what great artists. If you do have a printer, you can print it. Um, but try drawing over it just so you memorize these parts and become familiar with it. Okay. Can't believe today's already the 15th, guys. I'm on live right now, but you, we're on a break. Oh, where at? On the wood floor?
uh, Stephanie, the bones of femur, patella, et cetera, do we, uh, you do not need to do any of, all you need to do is draw the picture. We're gonna fill it in together. So those of you who can hear me, we will, we will fill them in together. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end the, end the session. See y'all at 12, 12 to 1.